and welcome to English Tips with Eddie. All you ever wanted to know about learning English and more. Today, pronunciation to connected speech. There are a large number of words in English which can have a full form and a weak form. This is because English is a stress-timed language and in trying to make the intervals between stressed syllables equal, to give the phrase rhythm, we tend to swallow non-essential non words. So conjunctions, pronouns, prepositions, auxiliaries and articles are often lost, causing comprehension problems for students, particularly for those whose mother tongue is syllable timed. Weak forms and Fish and chips, a chair and a table, can, I can swim pretty well, she can speak Chinese better than I can, please notice the first can, is the second sentence is the weak form, the second is the full form. She can speak Chinese better than I can. Of. School of English. That's the last of the apples. Have. Have you finished? Yes, I have. The first one. Have you finished? Weak. Yes, I have. Full. Strong. Should. Well, you should have told me. I should have seen it coming. Please notice both should and have are weak in both sentences. Assimilation. Assimilation occurs when a phoneme or sound in one word causes a change in a sound in a neighboring word. For example, in bath, N becomes M. Last year, T becomes CH. High park, D becomes B. Elision. Elision is the loss of a phoneme, most commonly the last phoneme of a word, and most commonly the t and d sounds. For example, left back, we don't hear the t. Stand by, we don't hear the d. Look back, we don't hear the t from looked. Must go. We don't hear the t. Please note that in each case the last phoneme of the first word is lost or elided. And the reason is that the time and effort required to change the mouth position from t to the b sound, as in the first example, or the t to the g sound, as in the last example, is simply too great. Delayed plosion. Red dye and red eye is an example of this. To articulate red dye, we must take a very short pause before the d sound. Red dye. The d is an example of a plosive consonant sound where the vocal tract stops at f all airflow. Other examples are b, d, g, p, t, and k. This pause before the plosive gives us the name of this feature, delayed plosion. For example, the right tie. The right tie. We've got to have a little break. The right tie and the right eye. No delay. Catenation. In 
concatenation, the last consonant of the first word is joined to the vowel sound at the start of the second word. For example, pick it up, you will hear something like pick it up. What is it? We don't say that. We will hear something like what is it? Intrusion. Intrusion is what you might expect from the name. An extra sound intrudes into the spoken language. Now, media event is never just media event. It is media event. There is an R intruding. Media event. I always it's not I always, it is I always, I always. So there is a Y sound after I. And go away is not just go away, it is go away. So there is a W sound after go, go away. Thank you for watching and see you again soon. Don't forget to subscribe, like it and leave your comments below. Bye.